So guys, you join me back down at my syndicate and it's the end of January. Now I'm sure you can probably tell the lake is currently frozen over, which means my rods for today are gonna stay on the barra. But I thought it was a pretty awesome opportunity to talk to you about my current sleep system, the Solar SP SeaTech sleep system. Now I've had this bed for about six or seven months now. I bought it last spring and I have to be honest, it is mega, mega impressive. Now if you've been following my channel for the last couple of years, you'll know that my previous system System was the Aqua Atom. Now the first thing I want to talk about is how comfortable this bed chair is and it's one of the main reasons why I switched over from the Aqua Atom sleep system. The sleeping bag in particular is a lot wider than the Atom one was. If you're like me and a massive fidget at home, at least my missus tells me that I am when I'm in bed, then you're going to need that extra leg room and this sleep system does provide that. I can manoeuvre inside the sleeping bag with ease and I've never been uncomfortable in it. On top of that, the sleeping bag is a four season bag, but it also comes with an outer cover, which has an additional skirting that hangs down in front of the bed, which you can see here. And it really does provide that extra warmth when you need it. Like I say, it's January now and I'm sleeping under both covers, but I've been so warm. I've slept into temperatures down to minus five over the last couple of weeks, and I've not complained one bit. Now inside the actual cover you've got a fleece line section which is lovely and comfortable but inside the actual sleeping bag itself the material is very slippery and I quite like that because I like to be able to move around quite a lot. With other sleeping bags on the market you tend to find if they've got a fleece inner you can sort of stick to that and I don't really want that from a sleeping bag so I'm really happy with the way this one's been designed. Now another feature that I really like about the sleeping bag is that it has the crash stick technology which a lot of sleeping bags on the market do have these days but that just means that I can get myself nice and warm inside the sleeping bag and know that when I have a take I can remove myself from the bed really quickly and really efficiently. To remove the outer cover is very simple. The bed comes with these nice and simple attachment toggles that run all the way along the side of the sleeping bag, meaning you can remove the cover nice and quickly, leave the sleeping bag at home, and still be nice and comfortable during the warmer months. On top of that, the bed has got a really nice sort of material to it. It's nice and padded, and it's gonna keep your back nice and supported when you don't use the sleeping bag. So don't think for one minute that you're gonna lack comfort by leaving the sleeping bag indoors. Now the next feature I want to talk about is the twin pivot hinges that this bed comes with. And basically what they allow you to do is unfold and pack down your bed nice and quickly. They also allow you to keep the sleeping bag attached to the bed chair when you're folding it up and down, which is really helpful and you can position it straight onto your barra and get on the move nice and quickly. Now the spring lock leg system that this bed provides allows you to adjust all six legs. You don't have to put a load of force on them either. It's literally got a button that you press down, the leg pops out, and basically that's all there is to it. It's very simple. It means you can adjust your bed on uneven grounds nice and quickly. Now as you know this bed's been out for a couple of years, this is my six to seven month review of the product myself, but what I really like about this bed is that it's been made to last. It's got a nice and firm ultra lumbar support that runs the entire length of the bed and in, in comparison to other bed chairs that have what I call the bungee rope technology that goes underneath your back, it doesn't sag over time so you're not going to be in a position where you feel like you're sitting on the floor and struggling to get off of your bed chair to do other bits and pieces. Now if you've watched my channel for some time you know that when I do product reviews I do them honestly and I always tell you the goods and bads of a product but in this particular scenario I don't really have anything negative to say about this sleep system so far. Like I say I've been using it for seven months and I really am impressed with it. The only thing I will say about this sleep system is that it weighs a bit more than what my previous system did but I was totally aware of that when I purchased it and it was something that I was willing to sacrifice for the extra comfort. Now last but not least I'll quickly tell you the dimensions of this sleep system. I have the standard version which is 205 centimetres long and it's 80 centimetres wide. The wider version is about 15 centimetres more in width I believe but the length remains the same. Now if you're interested in buying this sleep system I couldn't recommend it enough you've come at the right time. There's a link in my video description below to Amazon where they are selling it for £360 for the standard version and £450 for the wide boy version. So yeah if you're interested in purchasing it click the link below and enjoy. So guys, there you have it, my six month review of my current bed chair, the Solar SP SeaTech Sleep System. 
If you like the video, please hit the like button, smash the subscribe button if you haven't joined the community already. Big up to all of my current subscribers, I really appreciate your support. And like I say, unfortunately, I couldn't get the rods out today, but hopefully when the lake defrosts, I'll be back out on the bank catching some big ones. Sweet.